I'm uh, Carol Arnold. Uh, I'm Vice President of uh, Engineering and Market Development. Uh, I joined Wayne Roy in 1949 and have been with them uh, uh, mostly uh, ever since that time. It was incorporated in 1948. Um, it was a result of the work that was done by uh, Vano Holopainen and Roy Handy. Uh, in the mid-40s, they had developed a uh, tractor rear loader for manure and for earth moving. And it later uh, was developed into a uh, backhoe. And you can see the original prototype of a backhoe being used here on the old Hullopan farm on the Barry Road. Um, this was a progression of that and it shows a, a backhoe that was uh, first made as production units in 1948 and it was upon this development that the Wainroy Corporation was founded. Uh, later on uh, uh, backhoes were developed uh, which were uh, dug a little deeper and they had a little more swing and um, in fact you can see myself in 1952 operating a, a new backhoe. This is the original Wayne Roy plant which uh, prior to its use for manufacturing was really this portion here was a, a chicken coop and uh, this was the first expansion of Wayne Roy here. Uh, where the backhoes were made. It was a wooden frame building. Roy Handy and Roy and was largely responsible for the development of the backhoe along with uh, Wayne O'Hellopane, hence the name Wayne Roy. Uh, backhoes were made for a number of years and then later the whole vehicle was introduced, uh, a backhoe uh, loader, an all-one integrated unit, and that was introduced in uh, 1961 to 1962, uh, the first one being sold to the town of Westminster. Uh, this is the uh, actually the world's first backhoe that was introduced to the market in uh, 1948 and was the beginning of Wainroy as a corporation. Uh, this was the first tool of its kind that bridged the gap between the hand shovel and the old cable operated shovels. Uh, this has grown now to be a multi-billion dollar operation and most of the large uh, tractor manufacturer and excavator manufacturers now build these nearly same units.